friends, it's Carla from Creative Love Affair and I'm here showcasing some new March 2017 Wild Whisper products and I'm making this piece of home decor in a frame and it's a double-sided frame so I've got a decoration on each side. The new products this month are the No Place Like Home uh, 12 by 12 paper pack and then there's a pack of cards which includes 4 by 6 and 3 by 4 cards and they're printed on both sides both the paper and the cards and a beautiful beautiful collection I love their papers uh, I did a little um, video where you can see all the papers and I show you both the front and the back as well as the cards and uh, if you look on my channel you'll be able to have a look at all those really close up. Started off by taking the plexiglass out of the Tollsby frame um, that I picked up at Ikea. It was super cheap like a dollar or dollar fifty I'm here in Canada so it might have been a little bit um, over the dollar and I just removed the frame because I knew I wanted to have some 3D elements to it and the background paper that's on there is um, some of that lovely brick paper from the No Place Like Home 12 by 12 paper pack and I just cut it to a 4 by 6 size because that's what size the frame is and added one of the smaller uh, 3 by 4 cards on the front and then you just saw that I am using some of the lovely Emerald Creek embossing powders. That one there is Weathered Wood and the bluish green one is Northern Lights. And I'm just adding some Versamark to some little wooden embellishments. Um, Versamark just being a sticky ink so that the embossing powder will stick to it. And then I'm just heating it with a heat gun so it melts and uh, it looks so pretty. It's shiny like embossing powder, but Emerald Creek really has a lovely selection of powders uh, that have just such a nice um, detail and chunk to them. And you can get those at the Wild Whisper shop. Now I'm doing some coloring on this awesome uh, house paper. The houses are printed in black and white on one of the 12 by 12 sheets. And uh, you saw that little strip that I held up on each of the branding strips for the papers. On one side there's a coordinating print and then on the other side it has of course the Wild Whisper name and the um, No Place Like Home. And then there's a um, color palette that goes with the collection and it's great because if you want to go through your stash and pull out any embellishments that are those colors um, or uh, card stock if you're making a scrapbook page um, and I grabbed some watercolor pencils and all I did was grab them in each of those colors so I really didn't have to spend a long time um, choosing what colors I wanted to color these houses because I knew I wanted them to coordinate with the papers so it was easy I grabbed five pencils those color I knew they were gonna match um, so I like that little detail that is added to the papers because this cardstock is really nice and thick and has a great weight and it's also a, a little bit glossy um, I knew it would work with watercoloring and not saturate the paper too much and I don't add a lot of water here I just um, layer the color pencils over I'm using Faber-Castell pencils along with some Prima color pencils and I just kind of color them in and then use my water brush and lightly blend the colors out and what I found worked the best was if I laid down a um, laid down some of the color first from the color pencils and then went over it all lightly um, with the water brush to kind of blend that out and then moved on to a, a different area so that the colors wouldn't bleed it doesn't take very long to dry 
but then come back after and when I add my shading I go right over the area that I already colored and just add a little bit of a darker um, color over top so that your eye just kind of looks um, to the shading and makes it look like it has a bit darker areas and shadows and highlights so I don't usually take a super long time coloring um, I just like it you know I like for when you look at it for your eye to see some depth to it and um, for the colors to look good together so sometimes I'll just look away and then look back and see what my eye is drawn to and whether I feel like I need to fix that or not and so that is basically my coloring motto um, these little houses are so fun I can't wait to color more of them and maybe make some cards um, I love little house stamps and I just have never picked up any I've seen lots that are cute but this was absolutely perfect because they're all on the paper for you um, you can use it as a background paper or like I'm doing you can color um, I think I'm gonna try some alcohol ink markers and see how those blend on it and uh, the first little house that was down in the corner you can see that I had it colored already and that was just because I wanted to see how the pencils and the water reacted to the paper and I think that's great just to try things out and you know if it didn't work out you've only lost a little piece of your paper and and you still have lots to work with so I don't think you should be scared to try new things there's my pretty houses I don't end up using the one on the top right that I uh, colored so I'll use that for a different project but then I just took my scissors and fussy cut out the houses and continuing on with my project here I'm using some fractured ice embossing powder and I used some distress ink in the faded jeans blue and the oxide distress oxide ink and I put that on and it's kind of a wet ink so that means your embossing powder will stick to it it has a longer drying time and then I just put over that fractured ice Emerald Creek powder which you can also get in the shop uh, the Wild Whisper shop and uh, it has a clear appearance and that's why I wanted to layer on a little bit of color underneath um, but you can use it by itself and it just it goes nice and chunky and it really does look like ice over top and it's so shiny very pretty one of those stars is from that cork star that I put the blue on it's from Spiegel Mum Scraps, and those are also sold at the Wild Whisper store. And I added a little coordinating button with some yellow thread, and I just kind of clustered those there in the top right. And then on the bottom right, I'm adding the little houses that I colored. So the one on the far right, I pop up with foam dots. And then I just use my tacky glue and I'm gluing it directly down um, so it looks like there's a little bit of a dimension. And I'm just adding some more embellishments. Um, I use my glossy accents to glue down sequins and I've used sequins from uh, Spiegel Mum scraps that are sold at the Wild Whisper store and I've used the these pretty little gold sweetheart confetti sequins along with gunmetal gray and the sequin pack that goes with the focus on you collection which was out in February so between those sequin packs you have so many choices and I often like to grab a few coordinating packs to use on my projects and um, there's always a color that is gonna go I love uh, stocking up on her sequins from Sp Spiegel Mom Scraps. They're just really awesome. And another awesome company that Wild Whisper is working with. And here I'm working on the second side. So this frame is so cool because it's open on both sides. There's so many um, ideas for using this frame. And at first I thought maybe I'd do a little mini book flip 
Um, but I decided in the end to go with a, a piece of home decor. So I popped my paper in there and my three by four journaling card and I cut a teacup out of this another piece of awesome, awesome paper. I love the colors this month, so beautiful. And I love tea. So this was a perfect thing for me to use. Cut out the little teacup and I popped it up in foam dots and here I have some more of the embossing powder, the weathered wood. And it really does look like weathered wood. It looks so cool once it's melted. I just took a wooden embellishment and added the Versamark ink like you saw me do earlier and then poured over the embossing powder and it just makes the powder stick and isn't that beautiful and then once you heat it it melts right on there I just like to position my embellishments just to see if I like it there and if I do then I add some glue so I added a little tacky glue and I've got out my sequins. I cut out a piece of a window out of another of the beautiful 12 by 12 paper pack pieces. There's all different um, sizes windows there, which would be gorgeous, you know, for journaling, for stamping in. And I wanted to place that on and use it as an embellishment on my frame. So I ended up cutting out a couple of the tiny, tiny little flowers off of another of the pieces of patterned paper. There's in yellows and blues and whites and purples. And I just kind of layered them on the bottom of the window. And then I place a gold sequin in the window. And I pop that up on the bottom with foam dots and the top just kind of layers over that wooden embellishment. And uh, I add another of the flowers that I cut out. There's that beautiful paper. And I add a little tiny rhinestone gem to the middle of the flower. And I added those as well to the ones in the window box. I found a coordinating button and added some more twine to it and used some glue dots to secure it. And I showed you that, this little fun little uh, pick-me-up stick that is really great for using sequins. I saw it um, in the Amazon store on Amazon.ca and it's just called a Silhouette Pick-Me-Up. And so it has a little bit of a gummy, sticky texture on one end, and then the other end pulls out to be like a pokey tool. So it's great for positioning and adding your sequins. And I just screw on the bottom of the uh, frame there, and you can see me showing you both sides of it. I really love how it turned out, and I'm so happy with it sitting on my hutch and I'm so glad I could share that with you today. So I hope you'll check out the Wild Whisper store. I'll link all the supplies and details below and I'd love it for you to like and subscribe. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.